Hello and thanks for tuning in to Me and My Golf TV. I'm Piers Ward. You've joined us here at the Asprey and Andy, it's time for Go Low. It is and we're doing awkward lies today. We found a very awkward one here on the 16th downhill when playing a short game shot. So it's going to be interesting. Let's take charge of your game. Okay, it's time for Go Low. This is where we answer questions on your game to help you go low. Yes, make sure you get involved and go to the Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and post your questions on this week's topic. Make sure you get posting, guys. And also, if you haven't already, go and make sure you download the Periscope app and Snapchat and get involved and see what's going on on those. Absolutely. So today's question is from Instagram. It's from Cal Johnson. And Cal has asked, how do you play a short shot, so a chip shot, off a downhill lie? Now, we thought that we would find the most severe downhill lie we could get here at the Asprey. So on the 16th, just short of the green, about 20 yards, 25 yards to the flag. Um, we've had to stamp on the golf balls to make sure they don't keep rolling down the hill. So, Andy, I think with this shot here, the first thing for people to understand is how does the lie, the slope, affect the shot? Okay, and it's a tricky one. This is this is probably one of the hardest out of them, out of them all for contact, isn't yeah. it? So, with the, with the ball, obviously, on this slope, first thing is it's going to come out low. So we have to sort of think about the club selection. So in this situation, I've only got 25 yards here. There's not really any danger in the way, but I'm going with the most lofty club, and this is the 60 degree here, just to allow for the ball coming out a little lower than normal. Yeah, yeah. and you can go with a 5-iron still if you want to, but you've got to yeah. understand it's just going to go lower than a normal 5-iron chip would go. Definitely. Okay, so this is that, that, that said, what do we often see people struggle with when they do this? What do people do wrong? Okay, well, the, the problem is with when it's on a downhill slope, you know, you're doing everything you can to sort of keep your balance and stay, you know, stay comfortable. So the problem is with that is if we, if I get in a position and try sort of try and get comfortable, what's happening here is all this slope now is in my sort of in my way. Yes. And what we see so often here is that the club now is going to make contact with the ground first. Yeah. Or if we miss the ground, we're going to hit the ball halfway up and the ball's going sailing through the back of the exactly. green. So the problem is that most people here get comfortable and get on their back foot and then the club bottoms out too early. And as we say then, we either get the heavy shot or the thin shot and we're really in, a, in trouble then. Okay, absolutely. So it, it, it also, off, this is probably one of the hardest chip shots you're going to get. Okay, so with that said then, what are we looking for? How okay. are we going to set up for this first of all? Okay, first thing is then, number one thing is we want to make sure we can get the bottom of the golf swing more round where the golf ball is. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to move the ball position a little bit further back in the stance. That's going to sort of bring that bottom of the golf swing a little bit further back. Also, we're going to make sure we lean the weight on the front leg. So we're going to put most of the weight on the front leg. The ball nearly oh. went then. <laughs> we're going to flare the lead foot out also here. But you'll notice how severe now I'm leaning, I'm leaning with the slope. It's going to feel completely wrong to do, but we've got to trust this because this is what's going to help your club sort of meet the bottom of the swing there, the, uh, where the ball is. Absolutely, and you can see here that, the, the, that where, as soon as Andy moves and leans into that left leg and gets the weight onto that left leg, with that foot square on, you're gonna feel as though your balance is very much compromised. By flaring the foot out, as Andy said there, that's gonna give you more support on the ground, almost give you more coverage on the ground. Definitely, so you can see I'm putting more weight into the front leg, I'm leaning my spine with the slope, and the big thing here, you'll see the difference between this, look, if I do a, a swing now, you'll see the club will swing more up, okay, and then down, and this is their, they're going to create the bottom of the swing where the ball is and the club swings down the slope. And if I go back to a more conventional sort of stance where I'm getting the weight more back, as I swing back, the club's very low. It comes down, it bottoms out early and then rises up away from the slope. Really hard to get that solid strike from there. Absolutely. If you're in rough, do you want to play a few, Andy? Yeah, let's play a if couple. You're, yeah. If you're in rough and you've got a downhill lie and you're leaning on the back leg, you probably won't take the club back. It'll get stuck in the ground. You'll have to start lifting the club up like that. It just becomes very difficult. You've just got to accept that it's going to go low you know, you can always go low. Did you get that, Andy? Go low. It's the name of the show. Did you come out low, really low, that did. <laughs> Good shot. He wasn't listening at all to me. I know I did, sorry. I uh, or didn't find it funny. So, um, you know, it's you just got to accept that it is going to go low. If you want to change the face position a little bit to get it a little bit more open, you can do that. But allow for that in your club selection. Allow for that and where you're going to land the golf ball. And obviously it's going to run out. Luckily for Andy here, when he's going downhill, then the next part is a little bit uphill. You can and see that's really a long way and look thing, how low that's going. Stop quite quickly, that one did. Yeah. The one real key thing that I'm doing here, which is so important, is on my practice swings, I'm making sure I hit the ground. And I'm making sure I hit the ground because it's going to tell me where the bottom of my swing is. And the bottom of my swing should be near the golf ball. Now, if I do a, a swing and I, and I hit the ground from a more sort of yeah, neutral yeah. weight position, yeah. Pierce, if I hit the ground there, 
you can see what I'm doing now. I'm hitting the ground, but it's miles before the ball. About four or five inches before the ball. So you've got to do whatever it takes, weight on the front leg, get him making sure that swing is bottoming out round about that golf ball, and that's going to give you the confidence then that you're in the right place. And you'll notice when Andy's played some of these shots, they've stopped quite quickly. As I said, that is because the green is going uphill and also it's very wet here. It's raining as we speak. So when you're playing this shot, great shot again, Andy, you've got to allow for the fact that the golf ball will, most circumstances, will run out. Definitely. Pretty good. Some simple stuff. Okay, so that's one of the most awkward ones to play there, but so those simple steps are going to help you play that shot better. Make sure you comment below if you've got any questions, guys, and also subscribe to the channel. Click here below for more videos every single week. Absolutely, guys. Also, if you haven't seen me and my golf.com, pop over and see it. Click the link here for the seven day free trial. You'll see that out. We've got our fantastic video series, Turn Your Slice into a Draw, guaranteed to get you Check it out, guys. hitting those fairways. Thanks for watching. Cheers.